Jackson Arnold with Way Off and Recipes. Today I'm going to be cooking up some beef back ribs in the Instant Pot and then I'm going to put some sear on them using the Cuisinart Digital Air Fryer Toaster Oven. So this is one you don't want to miss and let's get started now. Alright so I've got myself some beef back ribs here from Costco. It's about four and a half pounds of beef back ribs. So with beef back ribs you have meat in between the bones. Beef short ribs you have meat on top of the bones. So these are beef back ribs. I'm going to get them out of the cryo bag real quick. Alright now that I've got these beef back ribs out of the cryo bag what I'm going to do just like with uh, pork ribs you gotta get a membrane off of the back here so you just get a little knife in between the area back here and you lift the membrane off it's like a foam membrane you just lift it off get some paper towels and just lift it off alright so we got the membrane off of both slabs of ribs if you don't remove that membrane despite how you cook the ribs you won't be able to chew through that you'll have some uh, tough chewing trying to keep that membrane on the fat that's on the top side of these ribs I'm going to leave alone they have some strips of fat on the top side well, really it's just mostly bone but um, a little bit of fat I'm just going to leave the top side stuff and what I'm going to do now, turning these over, I've got myself some Grillmates Montreal Steak Seasoning, which has become like my favorite beef rub. And I've also got some Lee and Perrin's Worcestershire Sauce. Nothing here is sponsored. It's just the brand that I have. What I'm going to do, I'm going to coat them with the seasoning, the beef seasoning, and then I'm going to rub some Worcestershire Sauce on top of that. And for you who are in the grilling thing, if you know about the name Harry So, you know that usually on his briskets he does this type of thing to help the spices seep in. So I'm going to be trying that here with this Instant Pot and uh, the air fryer cook. So I'm going to go ahead and get that on now. So got them all uh, covered and coated. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take and cut them down into uh, about quarters. All right, now we got them all cut up. Now I can break out my Instant Pot and the other ingredients. All right, so got my Instant Pot Ultra 60 here. And for the fluids I'm going to be putting in here, I've got a half a cup of water one and a half cups of beef broth. I've already got my trivet into the Instant Pot so I'm just going to pour my fluids in. Alright now that I have my fluids in I'm just going to go ahead and arrange putting in my uh, beef ribs. I'm just going to you know, try and put them in but not have them necessarily right on top of one another but just kind of coordinate them in different positions around here in the pot just to try and get them all to basically fit in. So all the beef back ribs are in. I don't believe we are over the limit for uh, the amount you're supposed to put into the pot. So I'm going to go ahead and close my Instant Pot up. Okay, uh, of course I've got my Instant Pot sealed shut for this cook. And I'm going to go ahead and turn to pressure cook. Now that I'm in pressure cook, I'm going to press in and inside of the, hit into the time, 
Then turn the time to 25 minutes. I'm going to be doing a high pressure cook at 25 minutes. I've got no delay. I've got to keep warm on. I will be doing a 15 minute natural release. So now that I've got things in there, I've got my time set, I'm going to go ahead and hit start. And I'll bring you back after the cook is finished along with the 15 minute natural release being completed. And we'll uh, depressurize anything that's left at that time. Alright, so things took about 20 minutes to um, preheat and all that. Then it cooked for 25 and then the 15 minutes uh, natural release I gave it that. Now I've stuck a meat probe in and I see that my meat is well over 200 degrees so very very well cooked very well done so I can turn this off and get this meat thermometer out of the way so now at this point what I'm going to do I'm going to start taking pieces of meat out and going to start putting them onto the air fryer basket that has the baking pan up underneath it there. I'm just going to set them each in here. You can see, you know, you got some super pullback from the bone there. I'll just fit as much as I can into the basket. Anything I can't fit on this trip, I'll have to do a second run. So everything fit on the first try into the air fryer basket. All that uh, five pounds of meat, or four and a half pounds of meat, all fit. So go and open up the Cuisinart Digital Air Fryer Toaster Oven. Slide my beef back ribs in. Some are near touching the top there almost. Let me make sure that nothing's uh, setting up too high there. Make a little room. Get those slid in there. Now I'm just going to give them a five minute broil. So I'm just going to turn it on. I'm going to turn to broil. And it's already at 450. And uh, turn it here a little bit, sorry. It's already at 450 for five minutes. So I'm just going to go ahead and start. Let that broiler run for five minutes. I'll bring you back. All right, we're coming into the last 10 seconds. I'm just going to turn the light back on again. You can see the uh, they're so moist that there's like condensation building up on the door. Time is up. So let's see what's going on in here. All right, got a nice little sear on the top of them. I like that. All right, so I'm just going to take one to uh, plate here one that'll be easy for a taste test. I'll just grab this one here. I think I got uh, got something must have got a little something on one of the heating elements to cause a little smoke there. But those will be good in there. You can have a look at this beef back rib. Now I'll get the camera adjusted. We'll do a taste test. Alright, our beef back rib. It's taste testing time. Okay. It pulls apart pretty easy there. I'm just seeing if I can pull it apart with my hand. You see it just pulls apart real easy. The meat's real tender. Let's do a taste. There is just, there's just no tenderness 
like instant pot meat. I mean, it's just fabulous. And got a little sear on there. Really, really nice. Combination of the Cuisinart digital air fryer toaster oven and the instant pot ultra 60 two thumbs up in my book so you know if you like this video you can definitely give it a thumbs up yourself and also you can get this and other recipes in written form at superwaveovenrecipes.com also you can get directly to this YouTube channel anytime by going to waveovenrecipes.com Twitter and Instagram also wave oven recipes and also you can share this video with a friend leave your comments Subscribe to the channel and good eating.